Hey, this is YBR back with Wreckfest. Sort of. Last time I played this game, it was the early access version. Now it is the fully released version. Only problem is, is my save file from the early access version disappeared, so we're going to have to start fresh. Luckily, I did not get too far into the game with the early access version. So we're going to start with the regional juniors once again. And we're going to do the first one in the list. And this list order is a little bit different than before. I think the menus are different as well. Anyways, we're going to do Lawnmower Deathmatch Challenge. Eat dirt, mow them down. That's the full name as far as I'm concerned. You got to say the whole thing. You can't just say we're going to do Lawnmower Deathmatch. Now you got to say we're going to do Lawnmower Deathmatch Challenge. Eat dirt, mow them down. And I also noticed in options, it's set to normal. We're going to put to realistic and then get started. And to be completely honest with you, I do not know the difference between normal damage and realistic damage. I just figure realistic has to be better, right? That's the plan here. So let's go ahead and mess with the settings a little bit. Driving difficulty is custom. Shifting, no, I want that to be manual. No ABS, no traction control, no stability control. Uh, AI difficulty, Let, let's try expert and see what happens. And unfortunately, you cannot tune the lawnmower. I thought this was America. In America, we tune our lawnmowers. Oh well. The good thing is, is I have a nice paint job. I got the true American paint job. Everybody else just has like boring single color paint jobs. It's like we're doing America's number one pastime and you couldn't take a few minutes to give your lawnmower a nice look to it like I did? That is shameful of you guys. Also, somehow I got two takedowns right like that. The first one I was planning right from the start. I wanted to tip that dude over. Second one, I just saw a dude rolling over. I'm like, let me just tap him real quick and steal that takedown. So that's a good start. We already got two of the five we need. We only need three more. There is another one. It's not the guy I was aiming for. I was aiming for the guy in front of him. I whiffed on that guy, and then I got him. So we only need two more takedowns. Might be able to get one right there. Perfect. And just one more takedown. Oh, no. Well, we almost had the five takedowns we needed. Oh, wait a minute. Look, you could respawn. Oh, I didn't realize that. That makes things a lot easier. I was thinking I had to do five takedowns without dying at all, but it looks like we basically have infinite lives, so I could be as reckless as I want. I could just slam into people head first and not care if I get destroyed too. And <laughs> Oh my goodness. I was running that dude over. First I wreck his lawnmower, then I wreck his bones. That guy, he flew up in the air nicely. That's a good one. Roll him. Nice. All right. We're almost destroyed though, so I'm kind of wondering if I hit to respawn... No, it does not repair the lawnmower. And ooh, that was weird. That guy also respawned inside of me. It's like my soul just left my body or something. I don't like that one bit. I do like that, though. Pop that dude right out of his lawnmower. And next impact, I'm going to blow up, so I got to take the next person with me. You! Oh, okay, I missed him. How about you? Yeah, we both blew each other up in my lawnmower. <laughs> he angry. He blows him up, and then he runs him over a little bit. I was off the lawnmower. That wasn't me. Lawnmower has a mind of its own. So who's going to be number 10? Oh, oh wow. How did I get through there without hitting a single person? That's really surprising. I don't think I could do that again even if I tried. But that guy, he is number 10. So we've gotten 10 guys in two minutes, I think. There's one more minute left. So my goal is going to be to get 15 takedowns in total. As long as I keep up the rate I've been doing, that should be possible. And there's another one. And that's... Not quite another one. It looked like he tipped a little bit, but he didn't tip enough to be taken down. And we're going to blow up on the next impact. Ah, oh, but I couldn't take that guy with me. He's still driving right into the hay bales, which my lawnmower followed him into for some reason. So we got 40 seconds for four. That's one per 10 seconds. That's a good rate right there to start. Oh, I thought I would get that guy. His lawnmower looked really damaged. Oh, he's running away too. Okay, well, that first one went nice and easy. Then I got too confident. So we're just going to go fast into the pile and hope we hit somebody. There we go. We need two more in 20 seconds. Again, one per 10 seconds. We should be able to do that. Perfect. Now I only need one more in this 10 second window. Although we got to use a couple of seconds to get moving. All right, seven, six. This is going to be close. I just got to hit somebody. You right there. Oh, I missed him. Oh, I got somebody else though. Oh, and I got somebody else else. All right, I got 16. That's even more than my goal was. We only needed five, and then I go and get 16. That is just complete overkill. Look at everybody else's scores compared to mine. My score is just ridiculous. Like, I wrecked. I wrecked over half of the vehicles in the field, and looking at their combined scores, if you were to take all their scores combined, I just barely lost to them. That's how overkill I was there. All right, we leveled up. Cool. We get the sport air filter and sport cooling. Can these be installed on my lawnmower? I want to install the driver cage on my lawnmower for sure. 
Another level! We unlock the Firefly! Do we get the vehicle or do we have to buy it? I can't remember. I don't know if I actually unlocked any vehicles before because, like I said, I only played a little bit and then I knew the update was coming and I thought the save might break. I wonder if I get to, like, choose the paint job on it. Three more people I might have. Oh, so I get the lawnmower to keep, too. Nice. I'll have to check if I can change the paint job later on. Anyways, congratulations! You have successfully completed this challenge. What challenge? It's the Lawnmower Deathmatch Challenge Eat Dirt Mow Them Down Challenge. So now we gotta choose the next one. We're gonna do the big picture. It's Demolition Racing Series Natural Born Wreckers or it's Demolition Racing Natural Born Series Wreckers. Whichever way you want to call it out. And I want to check the options real quickly before we do anything here. Yes, it's still set to realistic. I want to make sure about that. And looks like we could actually modify the car here. First off, we have the option of which car to choose. Although the only car I have right now is the Rocket. We also have the lawnmower, but it's uh, not compatible for this, I would assume. Yeah, it says vehicle not eligible, so that's not going to work out. Rocket looks pretty nice, though. A little bit beat up already. It's good for this kind of thing. We got some paint shop stuff we can do. Let's see what these have. We have different styles. Do we need to pay for them, or do they just happen? Wait, what did that even do? Oh, I see. It's the same paint job, just slightly different. So you can tell from above. Like, it's the same paint job with just a little bit different details on it. So you can kind of choose what name you want on it. So that one's The Crusher. That one's Mean Machine, and that one is hard to read. Crash for cash, maybe? Is it on this side? Yeah, I can't read it for sure, but it has Hitman on the side. I like Mean Machine. And I guess we have one that's just like plain, yeah. But mean Machine. And then we also have the livery, so we could choose that separate, so we could actually see what the other one said. Let's see what it said, actually. Crash for cause. Oh, okay. Nah, Mean Machine's way better, though. All right, so I know what I wanted to say. Now he's got to choose what way it looks. Nah, next, next. That one's way too plain, but we can change the color around. Let's see. Can we? Make it interesting. Mm, nah, still too plain. Back to deliveries. What about this one? Oh, now everything's purple. What have I done? All right, I like the way this one has. It has like an eagle on the front right there. That's cool. So for the main color on this, let's go with a nice bluish looking color. It's going to be American colored still. So... Make it as uh, blue as we can. That looks pretty blue there. Just nice. Kind of got that red, white, and blue and the American Eagle. I know. It's like, well, could, if you wanted an American one, couldn't you have done the U.S. flag that was already on it? Yeah, I could have. But I like eagles. Eagles are cool. Is the eagle a separate color? Can we like, nah, the eagle is just one part of it. So we'll just keep that red. And that's the only color it has on it. All right. All right. I like that. That's good. That's good. Okay. Wait a minute. What is this? Toggle custom livery colors. Oh, that doesn't do anything. Oh, you could reset it to the default, I bet, if I click that. So I don't want to do that. All right, apply, save paint job. And now this thing is, well, it, I did absolutely nothing because all I do is paint it. Let's see, can we buy anything? I don't think we have enough money probably, right? Yeah, insufficient credits, but I remember that, dude. That's a cute car still. Was before, still is. All right, we got upgrades, but I know I can't afford them because it says zero credits in the top right corner of the screen, but we could at least look at the thing so these are the ones i have yet to unlock it requires me to be level 23 i'm level three but i know i got the air filter upgrade and we could get that if we had any credits but we don't and then for the next level oh we already got the street air filter and the sport air filter but if we want the racing one we gotta be level seven which actually isn't that high at all so there's nothing else you can do there we'll back out we could tune the vehicle but it's kind of hard to tune a vehicle if you've never actually seen how it drives before you start messing with it so we'll leave that like that for now, and then let's go ahead and do the first race. Welcome to Midwest Moto Center. And I want to say Motor Center, but it's Moto Center. And we're on the main loop. So we can look at the standings, change difficulty. Looks like the difficulty saved just as before. It's as hard as it can possibly be, except no clutch, because I don't know the clutch button off the top of my head. And then we can still tune this, unlike the lawnmower, but again... Don't know how it drives. Don't feel comfortable tuning it yet. And we have a bonus target of spin out at least three opponents. And we have four events, it says. So this is event one out of four. All right, let's go. If I remember correctly, the best way to do something like this where you have to wreck people is you wreck the person who's in first. Because half the time when you wreck them, you're going to wreck yourself as well. Also, if I remember correctly, the first corner is the best place to pass to everybody. So we're in 11th place. Let's see what we come out at the end of this corner. All right, all the way up to sixth, and we got to spin out just by slamming into that dude kind of accidentally. And since there's only two people in front of us now, I guess I could go ahead and focus on the spin outs. So we'll spin this guy out. Oh, uh, close, 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 close. He almost spun out. I'm going to get him in the corner, though, for sure. 
bye bye. There's spin out number two. And then, wait. It said target achieved, I think. I don't think I spun three people out, but it said I did. So, okay. All I got to focus on now is catching the leader who's about four or five seconds ahead of me. Might take me two laps to do it. I don't know. We'll see how fast they actually are compared to me. If I remember correctly, I'm not able to gain a ton of ground per lap when the AI is just kind of driving freely in the lead. I'm only able to gain maybe a second or two per lap. So it's going to be close if I can actually pass them, if that's the case. Although right there, I gained a lot of ground. I think they did that corner poorly. I can use this guy to go a little bit faster through here. Just bump off of him. And we went through that nice and fast. Now we only have the dude in the lead who's about two seconds ahead of me. And I gained about two seconds in this lap, it looks like. Well, maybe I'll gain a little bit more. Let's see. Let's see. Although I don't feel like I was doing so hot on this corner last time. And I didn't do so great there either. Although we're within a second, I might be able to spin him out in this next corner. Or just pass him on the straight. Let's see. Can I? Nah, I couldn't get him there. It was too risky. Like, I might have been able to, but I've also had like a 50% chance of slamming into a wall when I missed. Rather not do that. Although, they're, they're out accelerating me, that's for sure. You can tell they go way faster in a straight line. But then, I come in with them tight corners. And there we go. Within a half second, I can bump him in this corner. Perfect. Got myself the lead. And I also kind of spun them out a little bit because they were over a second behind me and they're falling. So all I got to do is not make any mistakes, not make any big mistakes, and the victory should be mine. That's pretty good, actually, getting both the extra bonus target and first place. I don't think I'm going to do that very frequently. It's a very nice start, but don't expect it to stay like that. So how are we going to do? We're going to beat our last time, which is a 45 second even, or are we going to lose to it? It's going to be close. Ah, we lost to it by like half a second. <laughs> You're passing me now. Too bad. I already beat you. So 45.008. Is that the fastest lap? Uh, it looks like it, at least in the top 16, is the fastest. And, ooh, we get uh, an upgrade and some credits. That means we could actually go and buy things. Although I think I want to save up the money and get a different car instead of just upgrading this one. I mean, I guess I could upgrade it. I don't know. I got a window mesh. I love window meshes. What's a window mesh? Is it literally a metal mesh that goes over the window? We got to find out. So we're going to go to upgrades and try to find it. So these are all engine stuff. Yeah. Oh, we got to go to armor, I bet. And window bar. That looks right. Mesh. Window bars can slightly improve the strength of your car's roof. And since they're light, the performance hit is often negligible. All right. Well, I don't see any difference. I'm thinking I might have to buy it. But since it literally makes my car's rating go down. I don't feel like using my money on that. Plus, I only have $1,000 anyways. How much is a car? That's what's important to me. $5,000. I need $5,000 to get that thing. And then how about this one? That one is $6,000. Looks a little bit cooler than the last one. I think this one's nice too. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. Another $6,000. So I need around $6,000 to get a cool car. And then if I want a fancy car, what's the most expensive one cost? The Speedbird costs $26,000. And it's a... Class A with 260 for the score. Mine was like a hundred and something. Way worse. Oh, that's kind of weird, actually. I don't know if you saw that. I just noticed that. It's so, like the cars that are unlocked and locked are not super sorted. Like this one is unlocked. I could go and buy it if I had the money. But not this one. The Speed Demon, I cannot actually get. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and do the next event. This one's bonus target is a lot easier. It's just finishing the top three. Welcome to... Savilax Sandpit Short Circuit. All right, now I know how I want the vehicle to drive. Just the way it is. It drove perfectly fine. I have no changes necessary. We're just going to go ahead and race with it the way it is. And this time, all we're going to focus on is just racing. If I do manage to wreck somebody, it is not on purpose, and I apologize to them in advance. It's just accidents happen when you're trying to swerve through traffic. That was a pretty good start. On the outside, oh, that yellow guy. If I didn't hit him, I would be in second place right now, I bet. He slowed me down, though. Doesn't matter, though. We're going to go ahead and... Oh, he's getting revenge on me. He wanted revenge on me, but I didn't even hit him. He slowed me down, and then he tried to take me down. Either yellow guy's confused, or he just straight up hates me. Well, that guy, he don't like me either. He just tried to kind of spin me out right there. I got lucky, though. The car in front of me kept me aligned. And I actually got a little bit of a speed boost from that. So let's take the inside line right here and get the second place. And ooh, that was evil. That was evil. I slammed them into that wall. Remember what I said? If I crash, it was an accident. 
Yeah, that was not on purpose. That was an accident. I'm sorry, dude. All right, cool. I was able to get in first place already, and we're only starting the second lap, so I'm going to have a free lap at the end to just drive. Kind of be a little bit boring, I guess, but when you have your objective being get first place or get top three, and all you're focused on is racing, it's pretty easy to get in first. When you have to spin people out, though, then it's a little bit more difficult, at least for me, because I'm not good at spinning people out. Because usually spinning somebody out means spin myself out in the process. It's the only way I can guarantee that they'll actually spin out, it seems like. This one actually has a mix of pavement and dirt, though. The other one was, I think, 100% dirt. Alright, that was a 39.14 second lap. I don't think I'm going to beat that because I did bounce off of their cars a little bit last lap to go a little bit faster. This time, I don't have that advantage. So kind of ironically, the fastest lap is always going to have some crashes in it, it seems like, for me because I use their cars to my advantage. You know, a clean lap isn't going to be as fast. At least that's what I would assume. We'll see if it's the case or not. I feel like I'm driving pretty much equally as well this time. We just got to see what happens. We're about 30 seconds in and... Oh, no, no, no. Don't hit that wall. Don't spin out. Oh, that was bad. Okay, this isn't going to be as fast as the last lap. And I got to make sure they don't pass me and block them. Ha ha. That is a lucky victory right there. So best lap was 39.148. Did anybody beat that? No, not even close. I don't even see a single 39 something. And I had a low 39. That was a pretty good run. So we got a driver cage for rockets. So there are parts that are specific to the vehicle. That one's only for the rocket. And then we did level up to level five to get to some, I think, generic parts. Maybe you get like the vehicle specific parts and you drive the vehicles and then you get the generic ones like the brush guard. <laughs> what are we in Australia? Uh, when you do level ups, that makes sense. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I know it's kind of doing the same thing we did before, but you got to do those again until you can get to the part we were at previously. So until then, this has been YBR. I'll see ya.